In this video, I'm gonna share how I broke six figures income for the first time, how I did it in sales. Now, this happened a couple of years ago, and what happened was I removed myself from the equation. Have you ever heard the saying, get out of your own way? I think that in sales, um, usually you have people who are really, really hungry, but sometimes we are our own biggest obstacle. We are our own biggest enemy. Sometimes we are the reason why we're not reaching our highest potential. Even with all that hunger, there's something that's missing. So the way that I did it, the first time I broke six figures in income in sales was I began to realize there was no consistency. I'll give you an example. We, I would have very big months where we broke five figures in one month. And then all of a sudden the following month, another month that was really, really low. So if you figure to make six figures, let's say to make $100,000, you're making a little bit over $8,000 a month. So we would have some months where we were doing 12,000, 15,000, the following month, 3,000. Then we'd have another month where we were doing, you know, uh, 11,000. And then the following month, 4,000. There was no consistency there. So when I realized there was no consistency, I looked at why. And the reason was because I was setting my own meetings. I was creating my own appointments. I was having really good months. And when I would have a really good month, mentally, mentally, I would go like this and I would sit back. I was working every day. It's not like I wasn't showing up to work, but mentally, I wasn't as focused on setting that appointment. I wasn't trying as hard. So what happened was that when I realized that, that I was my own biggest obstacle in this to in breaking six figures, I removed myself from the appointment setting. I'll give you an example. What I did was I brought on a team member to help me set appointments. So I would pay this team member and initially it was family. Um, and it was my sister at first. Then it became my wife who helped me. And then I brought on our first person that wasn't family. But initially, start with family. Have them set your appointments. See, because if you're setting your own appointments and you have, a, let's say, a $15,000 a month in sales and your expenses are very low. I was living at home at the time. So my expenses were really low. I really only needed a couple thousand dollars a month to cover my expenses and have some savings set aside. And so what happened was I was, I had enough, I had made enough in that $15,000 a month to cover for the next, let's say six months. And that was a big problem because I wouldn't work as hard. And so when I realized that I was the problem, I need to remove myself from setting appointments and pass that task to a team member. When I did that, I would have big months and then I would try and mentally, you, this is subconscious, okay? I would kind of sit back and then I would realize that my calendar was still full because I wasn't the one setting the appointments, the team members were. And so since the team members were, had a, the team members had already set up my whole calendar and I had a full month and a full week, I could not sit back. So what it did was created consistency because I would have a big month and then guess what? I had another big month and then a bigger month and a bigger month and every year doubling our income. What happens here is that I remove myself. So if you're in sales and you're getting started, okay, I, this example I'm giving you was me and the financial services, but the reality is this applies to any sales. If you are your own uh, salesperson setting your own appointments and doing the selling, you have to eventually create processes that you can pass on and delegate those tasks to team members. So what I'm getting to is the way that I broke six figures was passing certain tasks like appointment setting to team members and it kept me in front of the clients and didn't allow me to get lazy. All right, guys, I hope this was helpful. Give us a share, a like, or a comment if you think that this is a way that isn't gonna work uh, or maybe a way that is gonna work. Um, I wish you the best on your journey.